Dave Maynard with Fish of the Baja. Today we're fishing in Cabo San Lucas, and I'm fishing with a couple of guys I've fished with for many years, Javier and Hav right here, a father and son team that have been fishing out of Cabo San Lucas for more than 30 years. But today, their expertise is really put to the test. I'm going to be doing something that I hope I never am on the other end of. Stay tuned for Fish the Baja. San Lucas can't beat it. Yeah, baby. It's the Baja, presented by Ono. Hi, welcome back to Fish the Baja. Today I'm out with Javier and Javi, and we're going to catch some tuna out of Cabo San Lucas. But we didn't know that what we would really catch today is something way more important. You know, getting up early on, in Cabo San Lucas, seeing the moonshine, you, you come out on the dock and all the guys are there waiting for this official to come get your license. Renee will meet you at the dock and make sure you get your license and uh, sign up for everything that you need and take you down to the dock and see you off to make sure you have a great day. I am always just so excited. The, the day is just beginning, you're, you're saying bye to your guys on the dock and you're going out to anticipate you don't know what is going to happen. M moving out among all the boats, um, a bunch of maneuvering, kind of crazy, and it, it's kind of neat. Everybody's got that same idea. What are they going to catch today? What's going to happen today? And you're leaving this beautiful marina area out through the mouth of, of the harbor, and all these other boats are with you. We're passing guys, catching bait, and uh, we're going to hook up with them here in a second and, and, and get our bait. Um, you want to make sure you have live bait on the boat in case you get a marlin that comes up or something that will only eat live bait. So these guys stay out all night to make sure that the uh, sport fishers that come have enough bait to, uh, to get what they need. So this is just kind of a ritual. You come by the rocks on land's end. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing as the sun's coming up and the padres, they call them the fathers, are there on, on land's end by the arch and it's just a picturesque moment. Uh, to do every morning as you go out fishing in Cabo San Lucas. As the sun comes up, we're headed out uh, to a, you know, what's going to be a day that we hope will be big fit, and you never know what might be out there. Okay. Oh, the big one. 
Ah, not a bad one. <laughs> Amazingly fast. All the little finlets. These guys are just rockets. And then, look at that tail. They just are amazing swimmers and amazingly fast. World record was just caught down here in Baja, 405.2. You know, 20, 20 times the size of this or more. Amazing. So I go on the one fight. One to 15. Put him on ice. I've got orders from uh, John Louis at the Grand Somer that he wanted some fresh tuna, so we're ready to go. Stay tuned for more Fish the Baja right after this word from our sponsors. Right there. Adam? Okay. Weird and wild stuff. Right here, 40 feet away. Watch this footage from the Troll Pro. These tuna come up from the left side. They're looking, they're looking at the lure, they're looking at it. How can I eat it? Big competition. Here comes one from deep. He is going to grab the lure right there at the top of the screen and he gets hooked up to the lure. You can see him struggling and moving to the back of the pack. All the fish are still. What is going on? So many fish behind the boat. And then here comes a big Dorado, 11 o'clock high from the back of the pack. Got to the party a little bit late. He's not going to get something to eat. Amazing, amazing footage. No, no, no pressure, no pressure. A little larger one. Like. You know, having the Troll Pro behind the boat is totally cool. You can see these fish as they're coming up, they're looking at the camera, and we're starting to slow the boat down now, and the Troll Pro is slowly sinking in the water as the boat loses momentum. But the fish are standing there right behind the boat. You can see stuff coming by them really fast, but they are totally curious about what this is. <laughs> Good job. Good one. Woo. Okay, awesome. Nice one. Another one for the live well. For the bait. Yellowfin tuna. More big one. More big one? Hey, 20, 20. Yeah, about 20. Yeah. <laughs> when we come back, our fishing trip changes from tuna and marlin to a rescue mission. Stay tuned right after this. La Marina rescata 11 náufragos. You know, we're trolling along for tuna today, and we've caught some really nice yellowfin. It, but I keep hearing something coming across the radio. My Spanish is not that good. I mean, I can catch every few words, but just the sound of what was coming across the radio seemed kind of desperate. I'm glad they have those Trip 275s on the back of that boat when you're out here in the water. And um, I, I, kept, I caught the, the term all todos barcos, all boats, and I'm thinking, why do they want all the boats to listen to this message and I went up and talked to Javier and he tells me that there's a boat that is sinking or has sunk somewhere in this area where we are um, and but nobody knows where they are and the guys didn't know where they are the guys that were in the boat didn't know where they are um, the people that they called didn't know what they where they were uh, but they thought they were in the area of Gordo Bank um, 
Gordo Bank is kind of where we were. It's, it's off Todos Santos in Baja, kind of uh, north of Cabo San Lucas. And these guys were diving. There were, uh, we, we, we were told seven guys in a, like an oversized panga, which is kind of the boat of the Baja. Um, and they were 25 miles offshore and diving this area that had a bunch of sharks. And now the boat, their boat is sunk, they're in the water, they're not sure where they are. And I looked over at Javier and I said, Javier, look, let's pull the lines in and run. And sure enough, we see these guys in the water. The deal is, there's not seven guys in the water, there's 11 guys in the water, 11 guys in a panga. I mean, this is, talk about overloaded, I mean, it's crazy. There are 11 guys in the water and to add insult to injury, they're 25 miles offshore, but they were chumming sharks and filming them. I mean, it's the worst case scenario. You're offshore, they had no life jackets, no radio, they're chumming sharks, and now their boat got swamped and has sunk. One more guy here. Wow. And a lot of sharks around right now. <laughs> Anyhow, we get there, and right before we back up there, the marine rescue boat comes by, they're picking guys up from the helicopter in a basket, but there's one guy that is drifting off by himself. So here's the scenario. We got 10 guys all in one spot and one guy just drifting off and he's got this little chartreuse rescue kind of wand thing and he's kind of, looks like a windshield wiper that's about to die, just back and forth. And so I said, hey, let's get that guy because they're not gonna go leave the 10 and go for the one. So we're able to back up to this guy. Uh, there's spray all over the place from the helicopter and they're yanking guys in the boat, yanking guys in the helicopter. We back up to this guy. Javi and I throw him a rescue ring and pull him to the boat. And I tell you, the look on his face was just incredible relief. So as this story develops, we, we find out no life jackets, no radios. All they had were their cell phones. And so as the boat was going down, they had their cell phones in a little box or a container or something. And they would swim up, open the box, take a cell phone out, and all they knew were people in the United States. So they're calling back to people in the States to say, hey, we're somewhere offshore in Mexico and our boat has gone down, can you call somebody? I mean, can you imagine getting a call like that? Like, who would you call? You dial 911, that's for the States. They, they, I, it's, it's freaking me out thinking about, what would I do? Who would I call to say, I'm somewhere offshore, off Cabo San Lucas, don't even know where I am and our boat has sunk, please call somebody to help us. So as it turned out, Javier and I were able to get this guy to the boat. He was completely exhausted. I asked him if he wanted some water, and he was like, thank you. Um, and uh, we were able to transfer him to the marine boat, and, and our day was done. But wow, I always want to be on the rescuing side, not on the being rescued side of this scenario. Whew. So hey, um, I'm at this party the other night, and who's there but like the a reporter for the CNN of Mexico? Muy buenas noches. Estas son las voces, las imágenes y los sonidos de la noticia. And he asks me to be interviewed for national television in Mexico, and so we did. Did a little interview with them and explained the whole situation and how we were able to be involved, and that was pretty exciting that we made national news in Mexico. <laughs> La Marina rescata 11 náufragos. Muy buenas noches, estas son hoy las voces, las imágenes y los sonidos de la noticia. La Armada Marina de México rescató hoy a 11 personas en el Mar de Cortés. So, the Marines are right there in Cabo San Lucas. You don't always see it. It's right there at the end of the marina. But they are very well equipped to uh, do this kind of rescue. And they are 42 kilometers offshore. Here's our boat coming in. They were actually filming as we were about to turn around and rescue this guy. They were filming us. We were filming them. It was kind of funny. 
uh, as we're, we're pulling our guy in. But they've got quite an operation right there. I have a rescue helicopter that actually uh, came overhead when we were first starting to look for the guys. And they did a great job. These guys were in the water filming sharks. Wow, I mean, crazy, crazy day. I think uh, I enjoy very much. Uh, there is uh, about uh, 15 sharks, 20 sharks. Then uh, we wait uh, after the boat going down, we wait about uh, one hour, one hour and a half. El objetivo era buscar animales grandes en el sitio conocido como Punta Gorda. So here it is. These guys are totally surrounded by sharks. They went out for the purpose of doing this. They wanted to chum some sharks and film them. 11 of them in the boat and they end up in the water with no boat for an hour and a half and they were seeing sharks of course manta rays and some marlin and had no idea when their day started that they'd end up in the water and having to be rescued uh, i'm sure it was quite a shock to them to end up in the water and, and be looking for a helicopter or a boat to come get them luckily uh, we heard the call and uh, and got out there <laughs> But uh, to be stuck in the water with all these sharks all around you for an hour and a half and not knowing if anybody's coming or not would have been a real hair-raising adventure. I was <laughs> glad that we were close when we were able to see the rescue boat come in and grab these guys. Uh, boy, I am glad we are on this end of the rescue and not the other. I said, let's bring in the, the lines and quit fishing and run as fast as we can in the direction that we think these guys are. Se percataron que uno de los 11 náufragos se había alejado del grupo cuando el helicóptero estaba ahí. They were there. Yes, the helicopter was there and was pulling people out of the water, but there were so many, uh, we weren't sure that they would be able to get them all, and this one man was all by himself, maybe 100 meters away. And so we went over to this one guy by himself, threw a rescue ring to him and pulled him to the boat. Al final, todos a salvo, sin lesiones y muy agradecidos con los rescatistas. Very good job. Excellent job for the Marine. Gracias. Gracias porque gracias a ellos estamos con bien y con vida y nos trajeron a tiempo. Que muchas gracias. Wow, what a day on the water. Coming up, we get to eat some fantastically prepared food. Stay tuned for Fish the Baja. You know, the best thing about catching a tuna is you get to eat it. Now, most of you know I rarely eat a fish, but I gotta tell you, Mary and I walked down to La Roca restaurant at the Grand Solmar, and one of their chefs prepared some sushi. Now, I'm really kinda not a sushi fan, but this was very good. It was uh, tuna prepared sashimi style, and it was, it was very nice. Probably the better part that I liked was uh, the ways they prepared the tuna. One was grilled and one was blackened. And that was excellent, excellent food. These guys are, uh, you can take your tuna fit to other places in town and they'll throw it on a grill or something, but La Roca really did a fantastic job and it's a great atmosphere. Uh, you're looking out at the ocean and the restaurant is very elegant. Preparation, presentation, very nice. Hosting the Fish the Baja crew for our first few shoots of the year is the brand new Grand Solmar Land's End Resort and Spa. Grand Solmar has set a new standard for luxury and comfort in Cabo San Lucas. The well-appointed rooms all feature fantastic ocean views and all the comforts of home. Uniquely situated between a rock cliff and the Pacific Ocean, Grand Solmar surrounds you with luxury at every turn from shapely infinite edge pools and waterfalls to great hot tubs and an amazingly detailed desert landscaping and ensures that your Grand Solmar vacation will be one you'll never forget. Hey, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Lots of great information. We'll see you there. <laughs>